This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Who's the one person capable of turning your life into a living hell? Clue? It's a four-letter word and you probably see this person every day. B-O-S-S, -S, boss. True, a lot of people quit their jobs for bigger salaries and a better job title, but a very, very large number of people quit because they cannot stand the person that they're working for. Bad bosses seem to happen to people everywhere. A Fortune magazine survey some years ago found that nearly 75% employees have suffered at the hands of difficult superiors. Other studies have found that one in four managers abuses employees enough for them to call in sick, slow down productivity or change jobs. Beyond a point, an employee's primary need has less to do with money and more with how he's treated and how valued he feels. Much of this depends directly on the immediate manager. Purva Mistra is head of HR at Hewitt Associates. Her area of specialization is leadership consulting. Purva has been heading Hewitt's annual survey of the best employers to work for in India. She's going to be talking to us about the impact that a leader has on a workplace. Purva, what have been some of the key findings of your service, specifically in the area of the impact that a boss has on the workplace? Uh, very interesting findings. We find that the, the immediate manager, you know, the boss, is not the most important uh, person in an individual's life. However, everything that an individual does, which is, you know, his career, his pay, the recognition that he receives in the organization, is all driven by the boss. Uh, good bosses, they affect two levers, which is the results which the employee produces and the extent to which he is willing to stay with the organization. So attrition rates, much higher. In companies which do not invest in good managers, immediate effect, attrition. We would estimate that close to 88% of exits are actually because of managers. So you're saying a boss can be directly responsible for the levels of employee turnover? Uh, employee turnover, employee morale in the organization, and the ability of the organization to produce results. So when you say manager, you're talking about the direct supervisor? Absolutely. Senior leadership comes into an employee's life very late into uh, the day. It's your immediate manager is the one who's planning your work, who is looking after your reward, who is looking after your career, as I mentioned. Uh, what are some of the ways that a bad boss can stress an employee out? Um, the first impact is really on the level and the quality of results. So your productivity levels reduce, your morale levels reduce, people don't want to come and do those things for you. Good managers would emphasize long term long-term vision, long-term sustainability. Bad managers will take you to the end of the quarter. The other is an indirect effect. The quality of employees or the quality of talent which is coming to your organization. Word spreads, you know, oh, your absolutely. employer brand spreads. The quality of your managers is a key factor in your employer brand. Will good people join you? Perhaps not. So internally, your employees not producing results, uh, not staying with you. Externally, people not wanting to come to you. Uh, does a bad boss also have effects on an employee's health? Well, that's an interesting one. The bad boss not only affects his own health, but very much affects the health of the people working around them. There are these um, red bosses, you know, what we call, uh, you know, they're hugely aggressive, hugely driven by targets, results, don't really care what employees uh, bring to the table. You know, it's all about me, the winning kind of bosses. And you'll note a high degree of stress and burnout in these organizations. And for the bosses themselves, high risk of coronary heart disease, we have this measured. 
Uh, then there are these what we call green styles. So the green bosses are those who are risk averse, you know, very approval seeking, don't want to go out of their way, you know, whatever is the organization norms, rules, I'll stick by that. I'm Mr. Plate safe kind of a person. And what you will see is that they spread a lot of frustration, uh, a lot of things, you know, the, the, uh, the illnesses which are related to your stomach, you know, the stomach disorders, the nervousness, the depression. That's the kind of illness which is associated with green styles. So according to you then, both the red and the green styles are negative styles. Yes, completely. Both. Completely. Dave is an engineer who worked in a large multinational corporation. He got a great salary, had great future prospects, even got great food in the office canteen. Less than a year after he joined, he walked out of his dream job. The reason? An abusive boss. He says, I couldn't take the almost daily firings, especially in front of subordinates. He'd make personal insulting remarks. I'd see him coming and I'd begin to get scared. I could actually feel my blood pressure rising. Getting up and going to work every day was a nightmare. It didn't end there. When they went home, depressed, he poured himself a few drinks and magically became as abusive as the boss himself. Only it would come out on his wife and children. Not only was his work life suffering, his marriage began cracking up too. When you look around, do you see mostly good bosses, bad bosses? What's the overwhelming majority? Uh, you know, unfortunately, the percentage of bosses, bad bosses, is much higher. And why is that? Um, often uh, these uh, bosses are not even aware of their impact on others. They think that they're doing a very good job. They think they're meeting their targets. They think they're doing just what it takes to take the organization forward. Even if a boss doesn't drive you to quit, a bad boss can be one of the worst stressors in an employee's life directly impacting emotional health as well as productivity. Do you work for a wolf in a pinstripe suit? After the break, we look at five of the worst kinds of bosses to work for. Stay tuned.